Good morning, folks. We got what we expected. As Mercury conjoined Mars last night, the Sun let out a scream. While the Earth facing quiet had stifled the plasma filament for days, it had no such restrictions once it began departing, and it ejected into space in a big, beautiful CME that will not produce a geoeffective space weather impact on Earth's magnetosphere, but which certainly disrupted the heliosphere and began coupling with the Earth longitudinally. Back to that in a moment. Let's watch the CME sailing away from Earth's trajectory as this satellite looks from Earth's orbit. The CME is heading to the right from Earth's view, so not only did the timing of the conjunction appear to yet again trigger the CME, but the CME was fired directly at the conjoining planets. Interesting to have the inner five all right there. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we find that apart from that eruption on the southwestern limb, that's bottom right, none of the other Earth-facing features became active. Lots more filaments on the disk, but none that can compare to what is cresting over the southeastern limb bottom left. That filament is titanic. Solar flaring? taking a dive as the Earth-facing quiet has turned all its attention to that central sunspot grouping which came in looking good, but is now decayed in Earth's presence leaving only the lead umbra. Solar wind continues dropping in intensity, especially as speed is dipped below 300 kilometers per second. Remember that the streams from coronal holes will impact within a few days and will be easily noticeable against this ambient calm telemetry. The coronal holes setting the stream are facing Earth now. The equatorial opening swung in and the IMF began interacting with Earth at the same time the CME began coupling longitudinally. That's my top factor plus Dr. Uyen's top factor in a span of just a few hours, and nobody should be surprised at what happened next. Magnitude 7.2 strikes the Kamchatka Peninsula of eastern Russia within just hours, the largest earthquake of 2016 thus far. But arguably in the same realm of significance was a five-pointer that struck off the California coastline. Very unusual for that location. Other news today includes more radiation, including comparatively higher levels than previously located at that St. Louis repository. And yes, the underground fire from an adjacent lot is still a huge concern if it hits that radioactive dump. Observers, shocking news coming out of NASA. The sun is a magnetic powerhouse that appears to operate within the rules of electromagnetism. Who could have seen that coming? They are searching for the genesis in every layer and corner of our star, but not one set of their eyes looks externally for the genesis. Folks, if you want to know why the observers knew all month to watch for this uptick in solar activity, you can check out the first deeper look of 2016. We do this at the beginning of every month, and in 2015, it was between 70 and 90% accurate, depending on whether you're looking for an uptick in flaring or an uptick in CMEs from flares or filaments. Folks, I'm sorry to say that support emails and other things will be delayed because observing the frontier starts today. If you have an actual website support item, we will get to it, but otherwise we'll be answering far fewer emails until I get back to Pittsburgh. We've got your pressure and radar here, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the desert, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.